I got my iPhone, bros. Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and an amazing life. I'm here in front of the T-Mobile store. A lot's going on today. I'm replacing my Samsung S9 and finally switching cams from Android to iPhone. Second thing is my aunt is coming into town today, so I'm gonna pick her up around 5.30 from the airport. Third thing is today is the last day of Ramadan. This is it, guys. The finale finito after this. No more fasting. Tomorrow is Eid. Lots going on. Let's get this day started. I got the brand new iPhone right here in my hands and before I open this up I wanted to give you guys a backstory about my iPhone love-hate relationship. I begged my dad to get me uh, the iPhone when it came out and uh, he <laughs> he actually surprised me because uh, and usually uh, you know Daisy parents they're like nah fam you're not you're not getting you know we're not buying you an iPhone are you you know out of your mind but I had just started college and I don't know what it was to be honest, but my, my dad, he surprised me and he got me the iPhone. Not the first iPhone, this is a year later when they debuted the, the, the iPhone, the second iPhone, which I actually still have and it's right here in my hands. So this was uh, the OG iPhone right here. You know, you can see this guy, so small, um, it's so like, it's so different. I mean, it just seems like a different era. But this was my my real my first real foray into the smartphone world, and having this was a game changer. I felt like the coolest kid on the block having this. I was one of the first uh, people in my friends group to actually have an iPhone, so it just felt like I was from the future, you know. And it felt so amazing, just like you know the touch screen and everything, because. Up until that point, we were still using keyboards, and you know, to have a phone where it was all touch, it was something just so un. It, it was just so out of the norm at that time that it was just, it was just something. You felt like you were a part of something, you know, at the cutting edge. So, I still have my iPhone that I have, and uh, after after this iPhone, uh, you know, I used it for a year or two, and then. Uh, I graduated college and I got my own job and I was able to buy my first phone for myself. At that time Samsung was starting to get into the race and they were actually doing a pretty good job competing with, with, with Apple. So uh, I remember I switched from Apple to Samsung and my first Samsung phone was the S3. Now since then I have been a Samsung user. I have had the S, I had the S3, then I had the S6, then I had the, um, I, I had the S8 Plus. No, sorry. I had the S6, S9. I don't know. It gets confusing. Too many S's. But, but the point was that this was the last time that I used an iPhone. So long story short, the reason I'm going back into the Apple world is not for any other reason but the fact that I wanted I wanted a front-facing camera that shot 4K because I'm right now vlogging on my Nikon Z6 but it's even though it's a mirrorless camera it's still pretty big and when you're in the supermarket or when I when I went to the shop today like at you know in T-Mobile it's just easier to just whip this out and just kind of take a quick video of yourself rather than you know take out this big camera and the microphone and it's just too much and it's too intimidating for people they're looking at you weird and you know as being an introvert it kind of it makes me feel uneasy so for me my favorite device to vlog on is a phone it's always in my pocket something's happening whip it out hey guys what's going on this and that you know but the Samsung particularly the S9 I mean, it has a great front-facing camera, and most of the vlogs that I've shot, like 50% of the videos in that vlog are shot from the front-facing camera of this phone. And it has a great back-facing camera too. It does shoot 4K, but this is the phone that has 4K 
in the front. It has beautiful video out the back camera. It's got the three lenses. And the decision was tough. Should I continue and should I stay with the Samsung family and go for the S20 Ultra or should I go for the iPhone? And I kind of wanted to go for the iPhone just because using Samsung for six years and using video for the past three years exclusively from the Samsung phone line, I I noticed that the, that the video that it produces, it's, it's very, it has this, this artificial kind of like enhancement that's going on with it. I don't that I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe that's just me and what I'm seeing, but definitely it's not as natural as I want it to be. And I know that, that it's a phone, hey, you know, if you want it to be natural, you want it to you want you want to capture the best quality, use a mirrorless. That's fine and dandy, but these are powerful devices and like I said to be able to just take it out of your pocket and just start vlogging that is a huge time saver and it makes the, the, the flow the workflow so effortless boom take it out start vlogging boom hey I want to capture this hey what's going on guys it's just easier to do so I uh, instead of getting the S20 it's S20 Ultra I just thought let me let's go back into the Apple family let's see how it is I haven't I haven't owned an Apple phone in six plus years, probably more than that. I think it's 10 years. The last time I had this phone was in college. So, and that was first year of college. So th <laughs> this, this was my last iPhone and this is the latest iPhone that I'll be using. So now talking, let's get into this bad boy. I'm super excited to fire this up and to, to use an iPhone again. Let's get into this phone. Let's open this up. All right. Ooh, I chose to get the mint green color by the way guys because I actually wanted the, the white silvery color one but it was sold out everywhere and my second choice was the mint green and the more I, I look at it now in front of my eyes I'm actually really glad I went with the mint green because it does look amazing. Should I be ultra daisy and just like leave this on and just be like yeah that's my screen protector? You know who you are. You know exactly who you are. Let's do the uh, famous hope this uh, focuses. Here we go. Ooh, that sounded nice. That sounded fresh. Boom. First time in real time, turning my iPhone on for the first time with you guys. This is awesome. It's pretty cool. It pop my SIM in here, you know, mess around with some of the settings, and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I have uh, finally set up the iPhone. I'm using it right now, it's in my hand. This video that you're seeing right now is coming straight out of the front facing camera, 4K at 24 frames per second. And just to show you guys the, the difference, if we look over here, this is uh, the video off of my S9 front facing camera. So you can, one, I'm noticing the first thing is how bright the one on the iPhone is. Uh, the one on the Samsung here is it's much darker. Can't really see all that well behind me. You just walk outside here into the direct sunlight. It just stopped raining. And so now it's beautiful and sunny. Uh, it's really bright outside and uh, it's doing a pretty good job at uh, you know not overly exposing my face I do see a lot of weird highlight kind of stuff going on on my face but that could just be the insane 4k I don't know you guys be the judge I'm gonna do a quick 360 here and we'll just walk back inside all right, so leave leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys think? Was it worth it? To me, I'm gonna definitely need to spend more time testing all you know this camera out and using it as a daily driver. On's about to land in about 30 minutes. We're gonna go to the airport and pick her up. Like I said, today is the last final day of if thought. I cannot wait. I'm super hungry. Uh, it's it, this has been a tough one, guys. <laughs> this this Ramadan has definitely been a tough one, but I'm really excited that today's the last. Uh, fast, uh, you know, it's bittersweet because I love the the month of Ramadan and it's sad to see it go But uh, just the depletion of energy that I felt this year was unlike anything else that I felt in prior years I just didn't have motivation to do anything I would just wake up do my work and then go back to sleep and just wait 
for uh for if thought so in just massive headaches and loss of energy and weakness and all that stuff so it was rough this year guys i'm i'm looking forward to eid which is tomorrow yeah yeah Got the aunt, there she is, beating the kids. It's been a long time since we uh, saw her. Being able to shoot 4K from a phone to vlog, I mean, it makes it's making my life so much easier. My aunt is here, she's right there, and uh, she's talking to the wife. We have about two hours, what's 4K, is that what you just asked? <laughs> what's 4K? 4K is something, <laughs> Good. 4K is in a, 4K is the resolution of the image quality that is being recorded with the camera. So 4K means that uh, it will be more detailed. Like you can see more, see Abu's beard? You can see more details and you, the things are gonna be more sharper. It's gonna be the last fast of the month of the year, guys. I'm super excited. Uh, my khala is treating us out to some pizza tonight and uh, I'm super excited. You guys, a new word today. Khala in Urdu means aunt. So my khala uh, wants to pick up a cake for my sister who's also in town because her birthday is coming up next week and she's not gonna be here for that. So we gotta pick up a cake and we gotta pick up a the pizza. The cake and I, you know, I just like love how sometimes people do this. Like, and, like they won't be normal. They have to like cake pizza. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna pick up the cake and we're gonna pick up the pizza and then we're gonna to go to my parents' house, the farmhouse, which you have guys have seen in the past two vlogs, and uh, we're gonna get our fast on. We're gonna get our fast off. Fast, 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 fast off. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm gonna go to. Yeah. The question is, should I grab the camera or, you know what? Let's do this whole thing without that camera. Cool. Let's go. Got the whole family here. What you're hearing is the Adhan that marks the end of uh, this day of fasting. And that's the final day of the fasting. <laughs> Alright guys, we ate full, feeling great, energy levels soaring up in the sky. Alhamdulillah for everything. It's a beautiful sunset behind me. And I want to end the video with this because it's the final test of the front-facing camera of this phone. And you can see it's pretty dark outside actually and it's capturing i mean there's a lot of grain you can i can definitely see all the noise here but significantly better than the phone that i was using before and this is amazing look at that sunset i'm gonna end it here guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did special request take your thumbs start smashing the like button physically guys i'll see you guys in the next one keep smiling have an amazing life <laughs>